All right, today I just wanted to make this video just to show the difference between hydrogen and hydroxy gas, or HHO gas, or Brown's gas, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people that I talk to, um, when I start talking about HHO and they hear that it's hydrogen and oxygen, then they start naming off properties of hydrogen and talking about storing in carbon fiber tanks and GM, and I can just tell that they're not grasping how different hydroxy gas is from hydrogen. So today, I'm going to light them both up and you can hear the difference in this way in the future if I'm talking to someone I can refer them to this video and they can actually see the difference between the two so let's get started alright let's make some hydrogen using a chemical reaction so I just got the sink filled with water just as a cooling effect on this container this container has got normal tap water with two spoonfuls of crystal drain opener which is mostly sodium hydroxide and now what we're going to do is put some aluminum in there. I just crumpled up a bunch of aluminum foil paper. I'm going to put that in. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now you just let it sit. And we'll come back to this in two minutes. Okay, so that's small amounts of just pure hydrogen igniting. In that situation, the oxygen from the water molecule is sticking to the aluminum, so it's just hydrogen coming up without the oxygen. So now, let's check out what hydroxy gas looks like. Once again, just small amounts, just like with the hydrogen. And uh, I'll try to isolate one bubble at a time and ignite those bubbles and just listen to the difference. So even though that was a ridiculously small amount of uh, HHO every time I was uh, I was exploding, you can hear the power in just one little bubble. It's more of like a crack than it is a, a whoosh like the hydrogen was. So hydrogen's got good potential energy, but you can hear just from those uh, explosions how much potential energy hydroxy gas has. All right, just to drive the point home, I'm going to uh, put the explosions one after another so you can really compare them. Alright, so hopefully that gives people a better idea of the difference between hydrogen and hydroxy gas. Alright, so before I end this video, uh, there's just one thing I want to address. A lot of times when I'm talking with people, it, it just blows my mind how people are convinced that if there's a technology that can help global warming or help the environment or help us, that it just spreads across all around the world like wildfire and everybody jumps on it. and it's funny how many people think that and I just want to address that I want to prove uh, I could prove it a million times over but I just want to prove with one little point how that is not true so let me show you something so in the city that I live in up here in Canada at one of the main dumps there's this beautiful machine which 100% of the garbage can be thrown into 
and it breaks the garbage down into its gaseous forms of methane and produces electricity and right now every day it's providing electricity to 1200 homes just this one unit and what I'm curious about is uh, with methane being such a, a powerful greenhouse gas um, which the entire dumps are constantly giving off methane gas why is there only one and why is this not spread all across the world especially in Naples Italy where I see the streets are coated with garbage if 100 percent of that garbage can be converted into electricity and apparently out of this machine there is zero emissions that come out the chimney uh, the, uh, zero emissions of greenhouse gases I should say but this is a perfect example of a technology that can help the planet that can get rid of our garbage just break it down into gas and have no pollution out of this whole system and provide electricity to tons and tons of people it just makes no sense why it's sitting up here in my city up here in Canada and I don't know one person in my own city that even knows it exists here and I ask people all the time I go into their homes because uh, I go in to service their appliances and I make it a point to ask them do you know about this methane generator that's providing electricity to 1200 homes nobody has a clue about it so not only do the rest of the world not know about it but most of the people in the city that it's in don't even know about it I've checked to see if there are other ones of these in the world I think there's two other cities where they were using tests uh, they were testing them out but forget testing them out it works just build them when you can spend 10 billion dollars a month fighting a war in Iraq what's the point of, of not spending some money on these things to just get rid of some of the garbages in the dumps and make some electricity makes no sense so anyway that just proves my point and that's it